Hi, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. When we're on the first tee, it's very easy to make short, kind of armsy, stabby swings. So what can we do to make sure we have a bit of fluidity, uh, tempo, and completing a full swing? I'm gonna give you a nice little thought to do, not just really on the first tee, but to emphasize it on the first tee. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at Shrigley Hall. Uh, we're on the first tee, haven't hit any goal shots beforehand. We want to make sure that we're making a nice smooth goal swing. We've got out of bounds on the right. It's breezy, you can probably hear it. There's a lot of wind. So it's very easy for me to think, okay, I just wanna sort of nudge one down and low and I'll probably get it a bit necky, a little bit cutty. So what swing can I do and what can I think about to make sure that I make a nice complete goal swing. I'm gonna do some practice swings where I'm just using my left arm only with tempo. But the one swing thought I want to give you is as you swing back, I want you to just feel like your right shoulder is moving back just four to five inches behind you up that way. That's all we're thinking about. So we're moving that way. Because what that's gonna do once you do that, if you've got the weight of the club in the hands, and we're just allowing the body to flow, what's gonna happen is you're going to be able to make a full goal swing. And that's the only swing thought I really want, and then to just wait for it, to not try and hit it too hard. It's very simple. And yes, it's great to practice this on the range or whatever it might be, but just on the first tee, just make sure that you get behind and you swing with tempo. Give yourself time to hit the ball. Give yourself time to swing through. Do that and you're gonna give yourself a better chance of at least making solid contact. And if you're a bit nervous, that's gonna help you as well because it's gonna give you something to think about that isn't too complicated. Because you're just trying to move this, you know, four to five inches back that way, and then we can make the transition through. We're not rushing it, we're taking our time, we're breathing, okay? So let's go through the process. Into wind, I've got my intermediate point here. I'm gonna make sure that my setup is behind so I can make a full sort of turn, okay? But this is where all I'm gonna think about is getting behind there. Not too bad. Did I kill it? No. Nope. Did I hit it perfectly? No. But it went dead straight. And I'll tell you, one of the things that helped it was because I had a smooth tempo. First shot of the day, about two, I, I'm guessing maybe like 260, 270 straight into wind, 80% goal shot. I'm happy with that. I can now go out and play without too much stress. Okay, so and I'm going to probably keep that swing thought for a few more shots as well, just to make sure I get behind it and uh, we have that smooth tempo. So, hope you liked it. Give it a try, let me know how you get on. Please like and subscribe. Follow the link below as well because there's a really cool series for you to find your natural swing for every part of your game. Thanks for watching.